How did we get here? I have no freaking idea. Fun part. Getting that bastard ring out was the hardest part of this whole thing so far. <laughs> I gotta find something. Just go in here, catch this, and press that out. I'm probably gonna end up making something. I'll bring you back. This is why I'm such a pack rat. I don't know what this was. It's some sort of bearing piece. Had a pin coming out of it, which I just put in the belt sander for a second and that fits perfectly onto that race in there and then I'll put this on top of it and that'll be my stack up for this is just a barbell weight that on my stack up now let's get it on the press so it's kind of like trying to get an octopus to sit straight Here we go.
don't have enough oomph. She does not have enough oomph. I got it all the way down, but my uh, blocks there are blocking it, so I got to figure it out. Be back. So I just pounded it the rest of the way out with a hammer. There's our wheel bearing, a little hot. There's our bore. And we'll let all this cool down for a little bit. Or maybe I ought to just screw it and press it in, huh? While it's hot? What do you think? Yeah, let's do that. And here's yet another example of why I hold on to old rusty junk. It's a cylinder out of something I don't even remember now. However, if you look at that, it's smaller, but it still hits the outer race. Can't go better than that. All right, let me get it set up in the press and we'll see if we can press it in. I'll put some grease on the outside of it. Oh, that's still hot. Shoot straight. Damn, it's hot. How many times I forget to tighten that up? Not bad for a six ton uh, shop made press. I think I got it. Let's check and make sure. Oh, yeah. Still hot.
Why does everything get grease on it? Jesus. Everything. Gets grease on it. What they say about cleanliness, it's nice to be clean. You gotta get that line back up in the hole there, and then we're just gonna tap it down. Maybe. Oh, it's still hot. Pretty lined up. Okay, I'm gonna go eat dinner. Okay, let's go put it back together. Well, this has gone a lot slower than I thought it would, but it is what it is. If you're wondering, it will have an alignment. You're an idiot. Absolute idiot. Don't make this mistake. So yeah, if you do do that, just snip off the corners. Now can we get to our bolts? So that'll be the fun bit. Oh, actually, they got flats on them. I can just use a wrench on them. It's no big deal.
Yeah, so uh, thanks for hanging out with me, guys, and doing this crappy job that should have taken me a couple hours and took me basically all day. But that's how it goes sometimes. Supposed to be 210 pounds, 217, something like that. I don't know. My good torque wrench goes to 100. This crappy torsion bar one here goes to 150. So I'm gonna have, I'm gonna go to 150, and then I'm gonna crank the hell out of it. And uh, then when I go get the wheel alignment. I'll have them check it. Hopefully they'll have the right torque wrench. <laughs> 